breakfast featuring a sauce my friend made. <laughs> What's on the agenda today? I have a job at 10, which is close by. So that's why I'm dilly dallying. And then I have, which is like putting in a mailbox. Turn my tomato. house and he said he's had this since he's married his wife i don't know how long they've been married but it's like open so smooth wow what is my relative doing whoa why does it look so crazy we're working with it with what we have i'm just twisting from the outside with my right hand oh i got it and I'm sweating, it's hot. Luckily, it is the exact same size as the previous handle. Got it. <laughs> I got one hole in into the metal and that took like oh I don't know cooking for my relatives I need to sneeze I burnt the potatoes it looks good eating outside I never cook turned out pretty good oh my god look how pretty the sky is I burnt the potatoes Oh, I'm so surprised how easy it is to cook chicken. Like, I think it cooked all the way through. Mm. I was successful in mounting a TV to a metal stud with pull toggles. Oh my gosh. I like, so I used that pointy carbide bit with like different sizes. It said it goes up to a half inch, but it's actually not. The half inch separate, um, like four metal, dr dr four metal bit that I have is much thicker. And thank God I purchased both because I have to do the half inch in order for the pull toggles to go through. So I'm gonna keep both because you know the other one has different sizes. And I'm back. Okay, it was a really really long Sunday. Oh my gosh. Let me just sit down and recap. Also, like, it's so crazy how much your hair sheds when you don't wash it. Someone was like, oh, that's a really bad drywall job. You shouldn't do that professionally. Like, you know, people are paying for that and whatever. And those kinds of comments are the kind of feedback I used to get. Um, or like it's all in the same realm of like when I told my friends and family that I wanted to do something completely different that you know I went to school for something and I had a job there and it was like kind of the trajectory of my life was kind of predictable at that point and even though that was happening I decided to go with something completely different and you know like people's gut reaction was like burst out laughing because it's so ridiculous what I was trying to do or not ridiculous like so entertaining and hilarious but you know it was just I, I don't know if they were ridiculing me like that or they just were taken aback that it was so random I don't know but you know like I think it's that and people saying like it's completely different. So I have no experience in the field. I had no experience in the field. 
and I didn't grow up like my, my grandpa in Japan was actually a contractor he built homes but I didn't grow up there beyond eight years old and he died like shortly after not shortly like but a few years after we left Japan so I didn't get to like really understand his career and what he did I, I didn't grow up being taught or like learning from my father, from my real dad about like how to build things or you know like fixing things around the house like that was never something that I learned not that everyone else does but like sometimes that's how people get like a little bit of that foundation but because I don't have any of that and you know being a handy woman is completely different from what I went to school for you know I feel like even when I started trade school and I told them, oh, I uh, got my bachelor's for this, for economics, but I want to be a self-employed with no employees, handy woman. That's what I want to do. When I told my like construction carpentry teacher about that or my plumbing teacher, well, I wouldn't tell my plumbing teacher. We never got that close. But like whenever people came to like talk about um, like, what we can do with our trade certificate it was like oh be a, if you're good at math or like oh they would say oh you're good at economics you should be a project manager for like a construction company i'm like no i want to be a self-employed independent i don't want to work for anybody i do not want to work for anybody and i want to be a hand like well there's a 500 hundred dollar cap in california so you're not going to be able to make enough money and like or you should do you should work for somebody else instead because you don't have an experience like and i know that they meant well but i feel like all this to say it's all in the same realm of those comments that are like you know you're not ready you're or you you're not you shouldn't be working and providing a service uh because you suck because you don't know anything because you have no experience but it's like you didn't like you weren't born with experience, you weren't born with trade skills, you know, we have to learn these things. And I think that people should understand that if you're paying me, let's say like minimum wage to do something, then you're expecting minimum wage experience and minimum wage results. And based on the market and how much I'm charging now, and if they're asking me for a job that is more complicated, may require more skills, and may require more experience and tools, like specialty tools, then if the rate that I'm charging is like so low, then you're going to have low experience uh, results. And that's not to say like I don't try my best. That's not to say like my results do not look well, but I'm just saying like, if you are a client and you're paying a certain rate, then you are expecting a certain result. And if I am promising that the result will get done, but it might not get done as fast as somebody else or whoever that might have more experience, like this is why my rate is so low compared to other people. My It's, it's all relative, right? But when I get comments like that, I feel like, <clears throat> um, it's just bullshit because how the f like how are you ever supposed to learn because there's a few channels that really motivated me to like just start off and i was like researching all the ways that i can acquire the skills obviously i decided to go to trade school instead of just starting my business with absolutely no experience but i think that at the end of the day Sometimes you have to learn on the job. Sometimes you have to learn right on the field. Sometimes you have to learn using another person's property. And that's okay. You have to feel confident enough. You have to understand yourself and your abilities and your capabilities to decide whether I am ready to do this and get paid to do it even though I've never done it before or even though I don't feel that 100% sure about this. You know, like you you have to come to be able to make that decision. And that's why I make mistakes all the time. And that's why sometimes I have to go back and sometimes I can't charge people and, you know, things like that. But I think to back away from doing something just because you've never done it before or just because you're not that great at it yet. is like just living in fear, in my opinion.
So this is my little pep talk to you. If anybody else in the world is giving you unsolicited advice or they really do mean well and and or they really do mean well and they're giving you advice to protect you, at the end of the day, you know yourself. And at the end of the day, if you don't get out of your comfort zone and try to do something you've never done before, you're never going to, you know, have ventured out. You're never going to grow. You're never going to acquire one more skill you're able to do. Though those comments come from well-intentioned people, I think that they're completely BS and still going to keep doing things I've never done before if I feel confident enough to do it for the first time and get paid to do it, you know? So that's the moral of the story. That's all I wanted to say. And that's where I'm going to end today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Ugh. I will see you in my next video. I'm going to try to post some shorts so I can post more videos more frequently. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.